Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with a video review of one very interesting handset, the Oppo Find 5. You may be used to the company from its uh, excellent Blu-ray video players, which are pricey but pretty good. Uh, but Oppo also makes phones and very good ones in that. Judging by this uh, masterpiece here, it was one of the first phones with a full HD 5 inch screen announced. So uh, let's make a tour of it. If you imagine a mixture of the white Sony Xperia S and the Nokia Lumia 920, you'll get uh, how the Oppo Find 5 looks and feels in the hand with its solid unibody polycarbonate housing. The phone is heavier than the first Full HD 5 incher, the Droid DNA, but it is slightly thinner, so it feels fairly compact for a big screen handset, also because of the elongated body, less wide than uh, both the DNA and the Xperia Z. While the back is tapered a bit, the corners aren't exactly rounded, as you can see, and the Oppo Find 5 feels extra edgy in the hand. Plus it is almost an ounce heavier than the DNA and the Z, so it will by no means go unnoticed in your palm or pocket, and that's the price we have to pay for this particular 5-incher here. Oppo Find 5 has a steel frame inside it, making it feel very solid, while the premium looks are enhanced by the metal plate here on the back. Nestling uh, the 13 megapixel rear camera and the LED flash. There are only two side keys. We have the power lock key here on the left and the volume rocker on the right. These are metal and contrasting very well with the white chassis, but have a somewhat shallow tactile feel to them, which takes uh, getting used to. The SIM card tray is right above the power lock key here and Oppo has provided a pin inside the box to make you eject it uh, with ease. The front is taken almost entirely by the display with very thin side bezel, 3mm and there's a two-tone transition from the white chassis part to the black fascia above it. The three capacitive keys below the display are lit in white and responsive enough while there's an LED notification light that lets you know about missed calls or messages as well as the charging state of the handset. We've arrived to one of the best parts about the Oppo Find 5 and it is the 5 inch 1080 by 1920 display with the integrated touch layer and 441 ppi pixel density in short, the screen is brilliant with bright colors, very wide wing angles and more than sufficient performance outside and direct sunlight. Granted, the difference between an HD and Full HD screen from a normal viewing distance uh, won't elude only the screen purists among, among us, but the display is excellent not just because of the very high pixel density, but also as an overall package covering all the rest of the criteria for a great mobile display like brightness, contrast and uh, color gamut. You'd be hard pressed to notice any icon jaggies, small text looks very crisp and even fully zoomed in letters elements stay crisp and rounded, proving once again that these uh, high-end mobile screens can now beat any other consumer-oriented display out there, be it on your laptop, your TV or desktop monitor. Now let's have a look at how the interface looks like on such a brilliant mobile display. The Find 5 is running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean and an upgrade uh, to 4.2 is promised for soon after launch and the Oppo UI paint job is found on top. Oppo's own interface is quite eye friendly with uh, large easy to press icons and balloonish transparent time date uh, contacts, music and calendar widgets among others. The lock screen displays notifications for missed calls or messages and lets you control the music player directly from it if a song is running. We get a standard main menu with large icons situated in a grid and the dial pad as well as the contacts scroll list also support large thumb friendly buttons and entries. We appreciate the small efforts like putting the connectivity switches in the notification bar in a swipeable row for easy access, as well as the larger push for differentiation like the settings app. 
Oppo has categorized all the numerous settings in four screens you can move sideways between general sound, display and personal. Instead of slapping uh, everything in an endless scroll list, it takes some getting used to, but uh, Oppo has marked uh, all the entries with large well-drawn icons for easier recognition, as you can see. And once you get the gist of it, finding what you need in setting up becomes a breeze. A couple of gestures are thrown in too, like uh, tapping on top of the phone to go to the beginning of a long list or a website and asking the phone to automatically pick up when you move it closer to your ear. Multitasking is taken care of with snapshots of the currently running apps appearing like cards here in the bottom of the screen which you can close by swiping up or shut all at once with the handy sweep button underneath where a bar shows exactly how much of the available memory all are occupying in the moment and or shut now. We also get a few pre-installed apps to make life easier like a file browser. Pretty good looking at that and we also get the tools folder where I have the system update app, uh, a flashlight, compass, an Adobe Flash installer and so on. A 1.5 GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro seems to be the law of the land for these 5-inch uh, Full HD handsets recently and Oppo Find 5 is no exception. It is fast, the UI moves smoothly and coupled with Jelly Bean's Project Butter never feels laggy or underpowered in both the interface or any apps thrown at the phone. RAM amount is the trendy 2 GB and there are 16 GB of internal memory that come with the handset of which about two are available for app installation and 11 gigabytes are free for your videos, music and other personal files. That's uh, actually the biggest drawback of the phone, the lack of a memory expansion slot, which is a shame with such a pretty screen and powerful camera, both of which uh, suppose a lot of high def video capture and playback. There's however a 32 gigabytes version listed for $70 more at the Oppo USA website so that drawback can be easily taken care of. As you can see, the handset scores pretty well on Quadrant, 7,357 points. You'll never feel underpowered with uh, any apps thrown at it or in the interface. Oppo Find 5 uses Chrome as the default browser and it is a joy to explore website on this large 5-inch screen with the amazing 441 ppi pixel density. The handset uh, doesn't stutter a bit rendering even complex web pages and you get to see small text as distinct as it comes on a phone. As you can see, no jaggies, very crisp text. Naturally, there is no Adobe Flash support with this browser, so you'd have to resort to some third-party software and sideloading it if needed. We get a rich set of uh, wireless connectivity options on the Find 5 a 42 megabits per second HSP Plus radio comes standard with the pentaband support in the international version including T-Mobile's 1700 megahertz band there's also Wi-Fi 2.45 gigahertz Bluetooth 4.0 AGPS DONA FM and NFC radios while wired connectivity is taken care of by the MHL port at the bottom of the handset the music player of the Oppo UI is somewhat bare bones, only categorizing songs by the basics like uh, albums, artists and playlists, as well as folders, but it uh, does offer to display album art and lyrics, if the song has them, and uh, there are a bunch of equalizer presets to choose from in the internal settings here. Oppo has licensed the Dirac HD audio technology for improving the sound reproduction from the handset and indeed a huge difference can be noticed when you turn it on in headset mode. The sound becomes much stronger and cleaner while for loudspeaker there is Dolby Mobile to make the unit perform way stronger and fuller than a typical smartphone speaker. That's with Dolby Mobile on and with Dolby Mobile off. The video player is pretty basic in terms of uh, interface, 
just like the music uh, one, but it's very functional and plays everything you throw at it, including DivX, XVD or MKV files like this one here, up to 1080 definition and with uh, subtitles if available. The picture gallery is grid based. You have the obligatory sharing options to a bunch of uh, social networks. And there's also a very rich editing app. You can crop precise, remove red eye, apply a number of color effects to the photo, annotate on the go, and so on. A pretty versatile editing app is found integrated uh, with the gallery on the Oppo Find 5. Oppo has placed a 13 megapixel camera sensor from Sony on the Oppo Find 5, which judging from the ability to shoot uh, full HDR video is of the Exmor RS variety that has uh, high dynamic range hardwired. The same sensor is present on the Xperia Z and will likely be into a lot of flagship this year. The interface is a bit plain as you can see with uh, just HDR, both for pictures and video and face uh, recognition switches. The phone uh, takes shots very quickly and the burst mode allows you 100 frames in 20 seconds to be taken. There are no scene modes, exposure compensation, contrast or saturation sliders in this version of the firmware. There were issues with focusing and times on our cloudy day and uh, it required us to tap on the object front and center beforehand. There were white balance issues uh, making the cloud seem purplish at times as well, but color representation is uh, otherwise quite accurate. The level of detail and amount of noise are well balanced too. And uh, the shots come up overall well focused and distinct. In uh, light dark parts of the frame, the brighter section gets overexposed as often happens, which can be fixed by uh, shooting in HDR mode. Indoor shots are average with a bunch of noise in the frame, but no white balance or focus issues until we tone the lights down and the colors become colder with greenish overcast. The dual LED flash uh, is not particularly strong for anything beyond five feet and illuminates somewhat unevenly. That uh, HDR mode seems to be a godsend for video as well, especially during nighttime when current street lights uh, halo is avoided and the footage is much more distinct. Can be turned on from here, HDR video on and off. The camera focus actually always wanders a bit when panning around, but especially when shooting in insufficient lighting. The frame rate drops significantly then down to 17 frames per second at street lighting in the evening, while in daytime it manages 30 frames per second without the hitch. Another downside of low light video capture with the Oppo Find 5 is that the footage is uh, unusually noisy when the light goes down, but that's about it, otherwise uh, a pretty great sensor. There's slow motion and uh, high speed as well. The slow-mo goes down to 120 frames per second. Frankly, it won't be an exaggeration to say that these days any electronics manufacturer can pick Android and slap together a phone or two with uh, off-the-shelf parts. The real challenge, however, is to pick the right ingredients for Polish performance in all aspects and fuse it together with some proprietary software so that the handset both delivers on the usability front and differentiates you in the mind of consumers from the sea of Android handsets. The relatively unknown Oppo has done just that with the Find 5. It got the best large screen on the market in terms of pixel density and the other criteria involved. Powered the phone with a proven fast chipset, snatched uh, one of the best mobile camera sensors around and enhanced the audio experience in both uh, headset and speaker modes, as well as provided a pretty good call quality. All of this is wrapped together in a fairly appealing design, both for the hardware and the software overlay, while Oppo placed the largest battery in the phone's class to make sure the thing keeps on ticking longer. Moreover, Oppo USA lists a 500 uh, price for the SIM-free 16GB version and $560 for the 32GB, so the pricing is kept decent as well. Only a few things are keeping the Oppo Find 5 from being the bee's knees. The lack of micro SD slot means you're stuck with about 11 gigabytes of user available memory, which will be quickly filled with media given the draw of the screen and powerful handset. 
Also, the unibody foam feels solid, but uh, quite large and heavy in the hand, and the side buttons go a tad shallow. Still, the headset costs 20% less than the established flagship brands and manages to stuff uh, a larger battery than the competition. Moreover, the 32 gigabyte version uh, renders the lack of expandable storage points somewhat moot. So if you want top-notch specs for cheaper, the Oppo Find 5 deserves your careful consideration. Natural competitors uh, are the Droid DNA HTC Butterfly, which is a tad larger and comes uh, with a smaller battery, as well as the Sony Xperia Z, which is waterproof with premium compact design and microSD slot, but comes more expensive. This was a video review of the Oppo Find 5 from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.